Hello dear students, welcome this is Dr. Hadi here and you are watching Medical Globe. Dear students, today's topic is from biochemistry that is glycolipids and if you want to understand, if you want to get glycolipids very easily, you must watch the video till the end and I hope you will get. So, uh, let's start glycolipids. Before we start glycolipids, I, I would like to tell you that we already discussed the phospholipids in detail, importance, types and structure. If you want to get to phospholipids, please type the word phospholipid and then give my name uh, followed by it. You will get my all lectures about phospholipids. So let's begin with glycolipids. Glycolipids name simply tell us that it is a kind of complex lipids means the lipid is being combined with glyco means carbohydrate so car if i if i write that carbohydrate any carbohydrate any sugar whether it is derivative sugar or monosaccharide or disaccharide any sugar if it is linked with lipid that will be called as glyco lipid and it is not that much simple as we see here glycolipids are also called as glycosphingolipids this here we can see another word glycolipid is there but in between the two there is sphingo glycosphingo why because in glycolipids there is a special alcohol called as sphingosine what is sphingosine a sphingosine here i will write sphingosine and then i will tell you that it is a special alcohol why it is a special alcohol because it contain a double bond it contain a double bond between the carbon atoms number one it contain oh groups two oh groups and it contain amino group and it contain 18 carbon so this is really very special type of alcohol that contain a double bond 18 carbon two OH groups and one NH2 group so that is why we also call this it is an amino unsaturated alcohol sphingosine structure has been already discussed in the topic of phospholipids already it is discussed so uh, once again i have to mention it if you want i will write once again the structure of sphingosine here you will write one ch3 then single bond then you will write 12 ch2 molecules here you will write 12 so 12 ch2 and this is 13 carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon then you will write a double bond and then we will write another carbon here you will write OH then we will write another carbon with this carbon at one side you will write NH2 group and here you can write CH2OH this is uh, what we call a special alcohol because there is OH group you can see it is alcohol it is unsaturated because it is double uh, there is a double bond and it contain um, it is also called amino alcohol because there is amino group present so this is called as sphingosine and that sphingosine is present in the glycolipids it represent alcohol right so now we will come that uh, so one uh, special thing glycocalyx glycocalyx what is glycocalyx most of the glycolipids serve as a glycocalyx how a uh, glycocalyx is actually the part of the cell membrane means uh, this is your cell and on your cell there is a uh, um, a, a lipo a, a glycolipid sorry a glycolipid present there and that glycolipid which is present on the cell membrane that is called as glyco glyco k 
calyx and do you know what is the function of glycolytic uh, calyx it has a vast variety of function one of them is the cell to cell recognition I mean how one cell recognize another cell that is the function of the glycocalyx and glycocalyx is present in many cells of the human but it is also present in case of bacteria it protect the bacteria from outside from the host so glycocalyx concept is seen both in bacteria prokaryote and in eukaryote okay now we will come to the types of glycolipids what are the types of glycolipids so there are three names one is cerebrocytes don't worry about the name don't worry about the name i will tell you cerebrocytes gangliosides and globocytes these are three glycolipids the first one is cerebrocytes what is a cerebrocyte um, a cerebrocyte consists of a ceramide and a sugar you don't worry about what what is ceramide what is this this is a sphingosine this is a sphingosine okay if i attach something with sphingosine okay this is sphingosine so it is sphingosine if i attached a fatty acid a fatty acid there are different types of fatty acid you know one of them is called cerebronic acid one of them is called cerebronic acid if you attach a fatty acid with that sphingosine with that special alcohol now this complex will become what a ceramide so this is now ceramide and here we have ceramide if we attach a sugar if we attach a sugar let's suppose it's a fatty acid sphingosine and here we attach a a sugar now this will become cerebrocyte so don't worry about cerebrocyte the name looks so um, dangerous the name looks so horrifying or cerebrocyte but don't worry a sphingosine attached with fatty acid ceramide and when it is attached with sugar sugar may be a glucose or a galactose any one can come here so um, one example one example of the cerebrocyte is galacto galactosyl ceramide or galactosyl ceramide galactosyl ceramide what is galactosyl ceramide you will write sphingosine there will be a fatty acid and what you will write here in place of sugar you will write galactose and you know very well about the galactose structure galactose is a sugar it is not a lipid galactose is a monosaccharide galactose is an epimer of glucose we have already discussed about these things but monosaccharide disaccharide each and everything so we can't repeat it again galactose is a monosaccharide galactose is a sugar and it is attached to sphingosine and there is a fatty acid now this is called as a galactosyl ceramide and that is cerebrocytes then we will come to the next that is gangliosides gangliosides are special glycolipids because they are present inside our brain at the part of the brain brain contain lipids so which kind of lipids you can say different lipids are there but this is most famous the gangliosides and you know in uh, you will see uh, you you might have heard one word ganglion ganglia these gangliosides are present in the ganglia you know collection of the cell bodies cell body of the neuron cell body is a part of a neuron and i hope you know very well about neuron neuron contains cell body and when many cell bodies are collected combined together that portion is called as ganglia ganglion so in the ganglion you will see this kind of uh, glycolipids can called gangliosides now okay fine what is gangliosides first i will write here that it is Find it is found in the brain and in brain it is found in the ganglia. Maybe ganglia is present in the brain as well as outside the body, outside the brain, it's okay, but it is present in the ganglia. Now come to the structure. 
in the structure of gangliocyte there is cerebroside already you know very well cerebroside we are already uh, famous with this we already we are already well aware of the cerebroside so if you want to write me I mean this is a cerebroside ah, okay let me erase this now if you have a cerebroside you have you have a cerebroside and if we attach one more thing with that cerebroside it means that gangliosides are a little bit complex than the cerebroside because it contains some more things beside the cerebrosides cerebroside plus one or more molecule of nana what is nana na nana nana is a sugar nana is a derivative of sugar nana is a sugar acid a very very special sugar acid very special because i said there are um, nine carbon atoms usually sugar contain six carbon glucose but there is nine carbon uh, sugar backbone that is called as nana and the structure of it is like ordinary glucose that we write but here you will find COOH when you find COOH in sugar it means this is sugar acid fine then uh, here you will find one carbon two carbon and three carbon means students are already well aware of these carbon carbon one two three four five six fine but seventh carbon eighth carbon ninth carbon is uh, is additionally present and every carbon is attached with the oh group as well so such kind of uh, sugar will be called as sialic acid we can call it sialic acid and if you call it nana so there will be what n acetyl means uh, at some place when there is nitrogen and at that nitrogen there is c double bond o ch3 this is called n acetyl so now it become n acetyl neuraminic acid nana stands for n acetyl neuraminic acid n acetyl neuraminic acid stand for nana and that is n acetyl neuraminic acid and one thing more that is very well known of sialic acid what you saw here is uh, called as sialic acid so sialic acid nana these are actually derivatives of the sugar and once again when a cerebroside is attached with one or more nana one or two nana molecules then it is called as gangliosides and they are present in the brain in brain you see you can see as a g m means gangliocide mono gm one one gangliocide one nana gm gd gangliocide di nana two nana molecules with one gangliocide there is two nana then we write it as gd gm so in the book of satyana ryan if you see gm1 gd then it stands for gangliocide g for gangliocide m for mono d for di and t for tri okay so that was the structure of uh, gangliocide if you want to write the structure of gangliocide during your exam emination time on the paper what you will do you will write the structure of cerebroside and you know very well the structure of cerebroside is already discussed with the cerebroside you will attach one or more nana if you just write one cerebroside at nana here that's fine it's fine i don't want to make the lecture uh, complicated the third one is the globocides dear students this is another glycolipids and it is present around your red blood cell rbc that is as a covering around the red blood cell what is globocides a globocide is a glycolipids a glycolipid fine sorry that is glycolipid but it contain two sugars two sugar molecules for example lactosyl ceramide 
if you have ceramide look that there, there was ceramide was there ceramide was there and there was one sugar okay fine cellulosite but in globocyte you will find again what you will find ceramide fine and with this ceramide there will be two sugar maybe both are glucose maybe one is glucose one is galactose usually in case of the, the example lactosyl there is one glucose and one galactose so one glucose one galactose become two sugar the two sugars attached with ceramide and in this time it will not be called as a cerebroside it, it will be called as globoside so it the uh, globoside looks like cerebroside the difference is that here you will see two monosaccharide and because of, as you know glucose galactose they combine they give us lactose so that is why it is also called as lactosyl ceramide because this structure is lactose these two are lactose lactosyl ceramide and globoside is present around the rbc uh, i hope you got that structure of uh, glycolipids and uh, remember me in your prayers take care and nowadays one more thing that this uh, the today's date is um, april 8th 2020 you know most of the people are staying at home and we cannot de uh, deliver our lecture in the universities or colleges and therefore i have made my setup at, at home so maybe sometime in during my one video you hear a voice from outside the street of kids playing or something else uh, i hope you will not be disturbed from that and what so i can uh, so I, I did maybe you people get advantage in, in such situations that our uh, education institutes are almost closed they are locked down and still we are hoping for the best so uh, remember me in your place thank you bye bye